here's another method of doing long division. Now in some of the other videos you saw a way to do it that involved a lot of multiplying. This way involves multiplying as well, but we're only going to look at different sections of the number at a time. So here I'm going to do 2895 divided by 5. What I could do over here to help me is create a multiplication table to help me uh, quickly find out what is it that would, what number would help be as quick as possible to multiply. So with my table, I'm just going to fill it out with my 5. So this is the times table of 5. 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, then 30, and so on. So I'm going to use this to help me find my answer. So first I'm going to ask myself, how many times does 5 go into 2? Well, it actually doesn't go in any time. So if that happens and I can't use the first number, I'm going to right away look at the second number. So then I'm going to ask myself, how many times does 5 go into 28 without going over? Now if I don't know my times tables off by heart, I'm going to come back over here and check. Closest I can get to 20 is 25. If I go to 30, well, I'm going to go over, so I can't use that. So what I'm going to pick is 5 times. So 5 goes into 28 5 times. Then I'm going to do my multiplication. 5 times 5 is 25, like I know from over here. Subtract that amount. 28 minus 25 is 3. So then I finished working with the thousands and the hundreds. Next, I'm going to bring down the 9. Okay, now I need to find another number that I can put 5, how many times does 5 go into 39? So again, I'm looking for a number as close as I can to 39 without going over. Here's 35. So I know that 5 can go into 39 7 times. So I put my 7 up here, 5 times 7 is 35, I subtract that, 9 minus 5 is 4, and 3 minus 3 is 0. I'm not going to put the 0 there, as I don't need any extra numbers to mix me up. Next I'm going to bring down my last number, the 5 in the 1's place. Notice how I'm keeping everything lined up so I can see exactly what I'm bringing down, keeping my work organized. So the next thing I'm going to try again is to figure out how many times is 5 go into 45. Oh look, it's 9. 9 times and it fits exactly. So 5 times 9 is 45. I do my subtraction. And this has no remainder, so I have nothing to put at the top. So my answer of 2,895 divided by 5 is 579.